all right guys what's up so we are i'm very transparent okay so and obviously you i haven't been working that much i've only been doing direct stuff so now let me explain why because i feel like that this virus and this dip in freight i shouldn't even call it dip in freight but this you know uh rock bottom of, of freight i feel like is we're not at our worst anymore it's still really really bad though so oh speed bumps so i feel like things are we're like we're at that that small up curve oh man hold on So I feel like we're at that small, like just beginning maybe uh, curve up, uh, but we got a long way to go. Now, I refuse to run cheap freight. And I say that over and over and over and over again. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing that. So I have been, I have, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, like to, you know, talk and, and run their mouth and stuff, but I'm completely fine financially. The truck and company and everything is completely fine uh financially so i'm not running cheap freight y'all can run out there and and run stuff you know cross country for you know 90 cents a mile and, and basically just pay for fuel and stuff i've been i've been on vacation i went to the beach last week i went riding side by sides the week before that um there's nothing else to do i'd rather be working but i'm not i'm not working for pennies now i've, I've done a couple loads for directs for good money but you know that's not every day i don't have you know i don't have customers like that I, and hopefully one day i do but today's not that day so anyway today we are gonna go work on the trailer now it doesn't need anything but i like to keep up with my stuff and i feel like the trailer has kind of got the short end of the stick so i'm gonna now it needs tires well it needs some tires but i think i'm just gonna put all brand new 14 plies on it because i'm tired of them them 10 plies I'm tired of it so I don't know I, I have one that's really bad I mean it's it's basically always been a spare tire and it's about bald it's on there now because I got a nail through the sidewall of a brand new tire that's sitting in the bed so that's that um, but we're gonna we're gonna get some new hub oil we're gonna clean the hubs out clean them down clean all the bearings down we might take the brake drums off check all that stuff out check the springs uh, clean up brake dust um maybe i'll pressure wash the the deck down i really wish when i got the trailer that i had stained it but you know whatever it is what it is now it's not that big of a deal the deck's not like falling apart it's still got a long life to go but it's starting to show it's um you know it's starting to show some age and that's okay it's just you know it's just a deck it's you know not the end of the world to replace or anything so but uh, besides that, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead to Walmart right now and then uh, pick up some oil and pick up some supplies and then we're gonna go pick up the trailer and then we're gonna go ahead to the house in the garage and uh, we'll get started. All right, so we got some simple green. Now this is probably just gonna be to clean up any mess. My wheels kind of have grease and, well not grease, they're just dirt and like brake dust all over them. So that's, that's that. We got some brake clean, clean off all the dirty bearings and all that good stuff. Um, Y'all should probably know what brake clean is. I shouldn't have to explain that. And then we got, this is what most of your axles are going to take for anybody that has a heavier trailer. It is just standard 80 weight, 90. And uh, yeah, the one bottle, honestly, there's, it's crazy how small of amount of oil are actually in the oil bath hubs. Um, this two bottles or what are these quarts? Yeah, two quarts is, is more than enough. This will leave me with plenty extra. Honestly, it might only take one bottle for all four hubs, but I bought two because I'm not running back to the store. So.
always make sure you got one of these. You can get these at like any trailer store. So we got a cracked cap. So that's why you need to make sure you keep extras of these on you. Um, at least a couple, I need to order more. Make sure it seals on good. All right, well, there it is. New cap, new oil, all cleaned out. So you got an oil fill level. I always do a little bit over. All right, so everything's back together. I power washed the wheels. I got as much as the brake dust built up off that I could because that starts to cause an unbalance on the wheels and that can mess with the bearings. Um, it's not very likely, but um, still could. There was a lot on the back of this one. So just gonna reinstall everything the way it came off. All right, well, that's it. That's all of it. That's changing the oil and changing the cap, checking everything over. And uh, just gonna do that in all four and then I'm gonna check the tire pressure and we're gonna move on to the next stuff. Well, would you look at that? All right, so quick recap of today. So obviously my intentions were today were to uh, take apart all wheels and well, take off wheels and tires, inspect the bearings and such, uh, the brakes and change the uh, bearing fluid, the, you know, the hub oil. So I got to the first one and by the time I took off the first uh, hub oil cap, 
it cracks and they're you know it's just cheap plastic it's pretty common for them to crack and break they kind of just you know wear out you know the heat cycles the weather um, all that good stuff you know it's just plastic at the end of the day so it cracked I had a spare one I replaced it moved on to the next one as soon as I put a little bit of pressure it started like you know cracking like spiderweb cracking all over the place again so um, I pretty much just assumed that they are all done and I ordered four more and then now I found uh, two really good structural cracks in the trailer uh, one is on the leaf spring uh, mount and then another one is on where the torque tube there's a cross member a flat cross member that goes from side to side where the torque the end of the torque tube meet or is welded to and on the edge it's all cracked all the way across so I called the dealer and they are I sent them pictures and everything and they are reaching out to Diamond C now I have no worries that they will give me a hard time about fixing it my question is is how aggravating is the warranty process going to be and how long is it going to take and how are they going to fix it so those are my questions right now and uh you know just gotta wait and see and you know i was hoping to really start running within the next couple days again and, and you know out of state wise but you know obviously i can't do that now with the the current state of the trailers you know i thought i just needed a couple simple maintenance things and you know i did a really good check over and it needs a little bit more than that so the truck's good everything's good with the truck trailer just needs a little bit of love i mean it's got 60 well i can't count all that it's probably got about like 55,000 miles on it something in that area um i'm a little disappointed in diamond c with it uh because a lot of it's weld quality and i you know i talk up diamond c a lot like heavily and you know things happen it's not a big deal it's not the end of the world no, you know no product or anything is perfect i'm not saying diamond c is now garbage or anything like that i still think they're great trailers uh i just am a little disappointed to see that kind of failure this early on uh, but I'm hoping that they'll make it right um, I'm hoping they don't just simply weld the cracks because um, I would feel that's a little half-assed but you know I really don't know how else you would fix it so we'll see how that goes I guess um, but as far as everything else just got audited that one good I passed that completely um, I mean everything's good on the truck uh, my insurance policy is almost paid up I got three months left of that and then I'm switching over to a new company and then and then I just need to slap some tires on the trailer because they're all I got one that's completely bald I don't want to hear about it I don't want to anyone with their dumb it's like the more I've been growing on YouTube and and talking to people on Facebook is the more people talk shit uh, I don't want to hear anything I got one really bad tire on the trailer it happens it's a spare tire that has been used a lot and I had a hole go through a brand new tire or a nail go through the sidewall brand new tire and blow it out so yes there is a pretty bad tire on the trailer it's not the end of the world there's seven good tires on it and I'm not running right now it needs to get changed and I'm just saying that because I know someone's gonna say something because you can see the tire in the video so yes there is a bad tire um, I'm probably just gonna put like so there's the one bad one there's two that are getting there and then I guess dealer five are, they got some life left, but you know, they're not brand new or nothing. So I might, you know, since I'm doing all this other stuff to the trailer, you know, making sure all the bearings are all good, placing the hubcaps, all the oils, all the fluids, the brakes, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and put brand new 14 plies on the trailer. And then that way, once all this stuff is done, I'm like, I'm good to go. Like, I don't need anything unless something breaks. Like the truck is good. All, every tire on the truck is good. Every tri tire on the trailer is good. It's all good. So that's the plan. Um, I guess we'll uh, we'll continue off next time with uh, whenever I get some updates on this trailer. And you know, I still got to do you know when the three um, oil caps come in, I got to you know keep doing that. So I'll probably do it at the same time. Give you guys an update. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one.